Welcome to Valdez, one of the rainiest and snowiest places in all of Alaska. And when you combine this much rain, this much snow, and the impressive steepness of the Chugash Mountains, you get some pretty impressive waterfall. There are so many incredible waterfalls here in South Alaska. It's amazing. here is teeming with brook trout and grayling. I got real lucky yesterday. Both of those fish taste excellent, so I'm hoping I can reel one in, maybe for dinner. These Alaskan lakes are just the most beautiful, peaceful place to fish you could ever dream. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, fish on, baby! Beautiful fish. What a beautiful trout. All right. Let's get them all cleaned up. I'm going to be camping here on the uh, highest paved mountain pass in Alaska, just north of Valdez. So far the weather hasn't been too bad, but I know there's a decent sized storm coming tonight, so we could expect some heavy rains and possibly uh, thunder and lightning tonight. Now that I've made it to my campsite, I'm hopefully not moving again tonight. If we happen to get any clearings in the sky, you'll get to see this unreal scenery. We are surrounded by giant glaciers and waterfalls, 360 degrees here. This is, in my opinion, the most scenic place in Alaska. The storm seems to be picking up outside, which is nice. A lot of fog rolling in. It's, it's very pretty, but I do think that we're going to start getting some rain and maybe some lightning and thunder soon. But it's rolling in just in time for dinner. And we've got that trout, plus some tortillas, uh, avocado, salsa. I'm thinking I'm going to make some fish tacos with that fresh trout. That'll be delicious. These trout are very, very slimy. I'm gonna keep it simple, just salt and pepper on the little trout. Even in Alaska, you find the goods. Whenever you're cooking with butter, it always starts getting smoky in here. So you've got to vent it with the side window. The trick now is that now that the meat is cooked enough, the bones should pull out and then I can fry it all up to get that flavor in the middle. Look at how much that fog 
has rolled in. Wow. Pretty spooky. It's very cold. Pacific Northwest, that is how we prepare trout. At least that's how we do it on YouTube. I don't think anybody <laughs> does that in real life. I think it's delicious though. All right, let's bite into one of these. You can always use a little more cheese. I love this little blend of cheese from Safeway. These are some loaded Loaded tacos. Mm. Oh man. Oh man, is that trout excellent? Mm -hmm. There's something so special about catching your food just down the street in one of these alpine glacial lakes and then cooking it at your campsite. That's the way to live right there. I've been in Alaska for a couple weeks now, so this isn't new to me, but it's about one in the morning. This is as dark as it gets. It's been storming pretty good. There's a small break here where it's at least not pouring on me. But yeah, this is as dark as it gets here in Southern Alaska at the beginning of July. <laughs> and a couple hundred miles north of here, the sun's still shining. It's pretty remarkable, isn't it? It's very, very cold. It definitely feels like it's in the 30s right now, <laughs> which is somewhat colder than what the forecast said. So hopefully I do have enough propane to heat me for the night. If not, I'll be in for a chilly one, but I'll survive. It's been a while since I've had a nice storm to sleep through. It's almost cold enough for it to be snowing, but I still get to enjoy some of those thunder sounds. It's real cozy. No time to wake up or anything because as I was saying it's basically the same amount of light at all times so that's why I've got the coverings I will say that's one of the benefits to having just that one little window it's tinted I throw the pillow on top of it and all of a sudden it's totally dark makes it nice and uh makes it nice and dark enough in here to actually be able to sleep the night and my hours since I've been in Alaska have been all over the place for example Last night, I didn't go to sleep until about 7 a.m. Because, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It keeps the crowds at bay if you do everything in the middle of the night. This storm is supposed to continue through the morning and, and through at least half of tomorrow. So it should be uh, quite rainy all night. Good weather to sleep through. <laughs> so this should be a nice, cozy, peaceful night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.
storm went by, it just seems to have left a bunch of beautiful fog. It is pretty amazing that up here I'm only 2,000 feet above sea level and yet in Alaska that's way above the tree line. So all we have left are some shrubs, lichen, and grasses. Starlink held up super well. A few mosquitoes here in the morning. But it was nice because this is very far away from having any cell service whatsoever. And having a stable internet connection, although it does drink up a lot of my energy source, a lot of my power in those lipos, it is still, it's quite nice to have internet. Can't even, <laughs> can't overstate it. Well, that was lovely. <laughs> I know a lot of you asked me if I will ever make you know, thunderstorm and rainstorm videos. And yeah, I mean, most of the time it's miserable because I'm just in some urban area getting poured on, can't do much. But when you're in a beautiful place like this on the off chance that there's a storm like last night, yeah, of course. I mean, it's <laughs> any van camping in a beautiful place like this is a privilege. But if I get to have it with some with some cozy weather like that, it's just all that much better. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that little video here. I'm gonna head back down to Valdez and hopefully get do some salmon fishing and maybe uh, maybe something deep sea. I don't know if I'll get that opportunity, but it's really beautiful down there. If you're ever in Alaska, check out this southern coast, especially uh, between Thompson Pass and Valdez on the Richardson Highway. It's, in my opinion, the most beautiful part of the whole state. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.